In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can change your PPI settings in Adobe Illustrator. So normally when you create a new file, you can choose which preset details you want. You can choose your width, your height, and then the advanced options won't be, uh, won't be shown. You have to click this arrow to open up the advanced options. And here you can change your PPI settings, your color mode and all those things. So normally if you want, especially if you want to create a, a design for printing, you should choose high, the 300 PPI. So screen 72 PPI is mostly for things which aren't printed. So normally if you're creating something for a print, you would choose 300 PPI to begin with. But let's say you didn't plan on printing and you just created your, your document and you had a 72 PPI. So if you then you're creating, um, you're making your document and you're dragging in whatever you want to use here. And so you're working on your document, you're working on your file and you want to have it printed or you want to have the highest possible resolution, the highest possible quality but you made your file to be 72 PPI. You can then go to effect and choose document raster effect settings. And here in the document raster effect settings, as you can see, you can change your color model if you want to, but you can also change your resolution. And then you should choose 300 PPI here. And in case you want to change your background from white to transparent or transparent to white and other options that are also available here. But if you want to change your PPI, you can do so in the document raster effect settings if you didn't do it when creating your document. That was a quick tutorial on how you can change the PPI settings in Adobe Illustrator in a new document or an existing one. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos, new videos going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video, stay creative, and I hope to see you in the next one.